Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Lori here. Yeah, this is a, a trip we took a few months ago it's in Mexico, and we're going to give you a glimpse of what it looks like, these beautiful colonial cities. One of the things that I've noticed being down here for 16 years is that a lot of people want to come to Mexico, they want to see Mexico, they're excited about Mexico, but they all have different opinions of what that means. Some people are real homebodies and they want to hang around their gated communities, they want to go to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner out with their Canadian or American friends, and they want to stay in a bubble, in a safety area, and they don't want to explore. They're not explorers. Now, Lori and I, what are we? We are explore person. We enjoy to go out to see some other town, to see some uh, colonial Sarada, to see some other town, a brand new town or old town. I love the old architecture, so I love to see that town. So that's what the idea is to introduce you, who've always wanted to come to Mexico, but you would like to be involved in the culture. You'd like to see the architecture, buildings that were built two, three, four, five hundred years old. Yeah. And see how beautiful they are now and embrace the culture. So that's what this video is going to be back. A little recap of where we went. There's not going to be much of Lori and I in there doing a lot of chit chat. It's going to be more of a faster cadence video where you're going to see what we had seen, you know, and the beauty of it. And we're excited about showing Mexico to you, just like we have for 16 years, showing you different parts of Mexico, how to live in Mexico. And this is a quality of life of living in Mexico, getting out of your comfort zone and living a life of passion. And this is so important to us. And we want to share that with you in this video. Well, we will show you the map where we go traveling in Mexico. We start from Leon right here, and then we go to Guanajuato. After Guanajuato, we go here and go to San Miguel. After San Miguel, we went to here at Querétaro. Well, we want to invite you on an adventure through Mexico, a driving adventure. It's a beautiful way of seeing Mexico, the beautiful cathedrals, the pyramids, taking maybe a hot air balloon, check out the beaches, the uh, cruises, dancing, so many activities here in Mexico. It's such a beautiful country. So if you come and you're thinking about a road trip, this video may help you to get a grasp of what it looks like and what you can expect here. The food is so good. The colonial cities are magnificently beautiful. Waterfalls, food and people, cathedrals, surfing, beaches, more food, and just seeing the colonial cities. And so let's take an adventure now. Three and a half hour driving from Chapala, Mexico to Leon, Mexico. Leon is a very sleepy town in a lot of ways because most people don't know about it. Most tourists don't come here. And that's the reason that we like exploring places that maybe most tourists don't go to. So we get an experience of stepping back into Mexico and seeing the history here. There's so many beautiful things here. As an example, look at the plaza, the main plaza, the way it is well lit, beautiful lighting, the church in the foreground there. It's just really a beautiful place. And we really want to share this with you.
Next destination is San Miguel Allende. And San Miguel is a beautiful colonial city. So let's take a drive and check out San Miguel. I'm excited to show you this colonial town, this city, and it's so popular. Yeah, the other thing, hey, subscribe. That make us happy to do more video for you to see. If we don't have more subscribe, and my energy will go so down, so I don't want to do anything. But if I have more subscribe come in, then oh, my energy was up. Let just let you subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to comment or thumb up. That make me so happy, and be happy to make a video for you to see it. San Miguel is actually the second largest expat community in Mexico. There's a reason for that, because the beauty that surrounds it, the architecture, it is much more of an upscale area of Mexico. So you have more upscale restaurants, a little more variety of restaurants. You have art galleries, you have cultural centers here libraries you have a lot more activities here on the upscale side of it more expensive but the people that live here love it and cherish it and in fact they love showing it off to people so let's take a glimpse let's walk through the town and look at the streets here Let's move along. Let's go to Guanajuato. Guanajuato is a colorful town and we're going to drive there. Let's take a little road trip and just see what it looks like on the road as you're driving here. I don't know if you people have seen our video last week where we talked about what it cost us to live in Mexico. Uh, we did a look back of five, six years of what it cost us. and. Uh, I'm sort of curious about that. I thought I'd get more comments. Is that something that you thought would be lower to live in Mexico, a lot cheaper than what we showed in our videos? Or did you think it was about what you believe it would be? Or do you think it was too high? Now, let's keep moving. Guanajuato, beautiful, colorful city. I'm so excited that you're coming with us to see beautiful places like this in Mexico. Guanajuato is a very colorful city. A lot of the buildings are mixed with colors. Also, it's a hilly area here, and you wanna take a walk or maybe take a tram and come up to the top of a lookout here, and you can look at the city, but it is hilly, so we're gonna walk up there. And here, as we show you the overall picture of the town, this area up here is a, a nice place to get a view of the city and get an idea of what it looks like. It's so beautiful here. And also, you'll see that it's very friendly. It's a college town. There's a lot to do here. It's one of the most popular colonial cities in Mexico and most tourists do come here. So let's glimpse at Guanajuato. crisscrosses throughout the underneath the city it's really an interesting buses drive in it there's stoplights in there's there's intersections in there there's sidewalks in there 
It's really an interesting experience. So uh, check it out next time you go to Guanajuato. It's a lot of fun. The next place we're going to look at is a hacienda, San Gabriel Hacienda. This hacienda is over 500 years old. It's really beautiful. It's a day trip out of Guanajuato City, and uh, you can book a tour to see the area. Lori points out the beautiful colors on this hillside. Guanajuato has colors, colors, colors. So beautiful. If you're afraid of heights, don't visit the silver mine here because the steps are very steep. But it was really a beautiful day. And again, you can do this on a day tour. Now we want to take you to a city that is known as the best city in Mexico to live. It is a very vibrant city and it's really beautiful. And a lot of people or expats don't really live here. So this is an area that you may want to check out if you want to have culture, but not have a lot of expats. Here's a view from our balcony of our hotel, right in the colonial part. And so that's what we like to do. We like to stay right in the colonial part so we can park our car and walk around or take public transportation. And so they're so festive. Here we happen to run across a wedding party and look at the beautiful sculptures that are here. And so you see that they're very proud of their indigenous people and their heritage of the indigenous people. And they show it in their art. Very fun and playful areas also. blizzard and there are not that many around Mexico so we're going to see if I can find more blizzards but I can substitute it for other ice cream. aqueduct system that dates back over 500 years old. It's quite beautiful, especially at night, the way they have lit the uh, aqueduct up. It's a very beautiful site. Definitely visit it. Next week, what we're going to do is we're going to finish up part of this tour and we're going to look at Pueblo Magicos. These are special little towns that are typically outside of the big cities that we're showing in this video and 
it's going to give you an idea of the beautiful charm of these magic pueblos, these magic towns of Mexico. Stay tuned for seeing that. That's going to be in two weeks on Friday, 5 p.m. California time will be our next video. Yeah, take advantage of that and see it through our eyes. Let us take you along with us in traveling through Mexico. Oh, there's a bumper. <laughs> Another one. Boop, bumper. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you try, when you drive in Mexico, when you go through the town, it's a lot of bumper. Yeah. I used to call sleeping police, but over here they call topes. <laughs> yeah, they make you slow down when you're driving. Okay, now let's look at the numbers, what it cost us to travel through Mexico in four beautiful colonial cities. Now remember, we did not stay in Airbnbs. It would have been cheaper that way, but we like staying in hotels. So our grand total was $3,771 to travel here. Now, do you think that's expensive? 